What's going on guys? Welcome to the fourth episode of our coffee series. I hope you enjoyed our previous video about the Chemex. And today I'm going to show you about how to brew coffee with the Kalita. The Kalita comes in different uh, materials. It can be in plastic, in stainless steel or in a glass. They all have the same design flat bottom symmetry that allows nice and even extraction during brewing. Kalita is amazing. It's a simple and a great way of making a good cup of coffee. And talking about good cup of coffee, you need to use good quality coffee beans. And that's why today we are using Connects Coffee Juliet Blend, which is a 50-50 Kenyan and Ethiopian coffee. In brewing a Kalita, you need um, the drip set, which includes the carafe. If you don't have the carafe, you can use, you can just place it on the, on the mug and brew your coffee there. You need a weighing scale with a timer on it. You need a grinder. Today we're using a hand grinder. Yeah. Little paper, gooseneck kettle, and hot water. In today's recipe, we are using 18 grams of coffee to 240 grams of water. This is about 1 is to 13 ratio. You can change the ratio to brew either a bigger cup or a smaller cup. I'm going to start off grinding my coffee okay. to a medium fine grind. This is around 800 microns. So I put my grinder on a scale. Pour in my coffee beans in there, 18 grams. Okay. My coffee is ready now. Has a very nice fragrance. Looks like that when grounded. I'm going to take now my filter paper. It's a very unique filter paper. Then I will fold the bottom like this and the side edge on the opposite direction. After folding my paper filter, yeah, it will look like this. Then I'm going to fit it in the dripper. Then I'm going to take my calita and place it on the scale. My water is boiling now. You should never use boiling hot water when brewing your coffee because this will scorch your coffee and make it have that burnt taste. I rinse my paper filter just to remove that papery taste and also preheat whipments here. Then I'll dump that water. Put my calita on the scale Turn everything to zero. Then put my coffee in there. Then I'll shake the bed so that it is nice and even like this. Okay. Then I'll place it on this, on the scale. Turn everything to zero. Then I'll start my first pour. This pour, I'll twice as much water as the coffee and let it bloom for 30 seconds. So here we go. If your coffee doesn't bloom, probably you are using a bad or old coffee. Oh. You might as well return to where you found it and get yourself some nice coffee from Connect Coffee. After the 30 seconds, start my second pour. Then I will pour in concentric circles, either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Whichever direction you choose, you should stick to that direction. This allows even extraction. So in this round, I'm pouring around 100 to 120 grams of water. Okay, that is my second pour. Then I'll continue adding pours of 60 ml in intervals. Just to make sure that the temperature in there is the same, is consistent for a nice and even extraction. Pour in concentric uh, circles until you achieve your desired brew. So our estimated time here is around 2 minutes 30 seconds to get our desired amount of brew. After pouring, you let it sit there. In the meantime, you can preheat your cup. Then you're going to remove your, your dripper like that. Your coffee is now ready. Dump the water already. Now pour all your coffee in your mug. 
Kalita is usually sweet, uh, bright, quite balanced and full flavored. It's a cup that you can enjoy at any time of the day. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. In our next episode, we are going to cover the Hario V60. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, please stay safe, stay connected.